I'm Michael Cole, this is JB Allen. We welcome you to Portland, Oregon. It's been a long time since we've come to Portland, and it's great to be back. The Rose City's gonna get his face rocked tonight, and I, for one, can't wait. And neither can these fans. We better get started, or we might have a riot on our hands. And there's the counter. Watching these superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. You know, if you let me train you, you could be cruiserweight champ inside a year. Oh, no. I've heard stories about the way you train people. You make Marine drill instructors look like pushovers. Are you surprised? They're just training people to go to war. I train them to be WWE superstars. Well, thanks, but no thanks, partner. I think I'll stick to announcing for now. We're hearing the First Amendment in action here tonight. I'm all for freedom of expression, whether I agree with what they're saying or not. These superstars are at the top of their game, but only one of them is gonna have his hand raised at the end of this one. Oh, and that's a real shame because like you said, this has been a great match so far. So what? You want to say that everybody wins so that nobody gets their feelings hurt? I never said that. Oh. I'm just saying that in a great match like this, everyone involved deserves credit for it. Man, what a match. Kids, if you're watching this, don't try this stuff at home. Absolutely not. These are trained WWE superstars, and even they wind up seriously injured sometimes. That's for sure. Even me, a former WWE champion, has had his share of injuries over the years. A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? These superstars have been giving it everything they've got all night. They sure have. And that's where the superb conditioning of the WWE superstars comes into play. Yeah, you're not gonna win a match if you're blown up two minutes uh, into it. You can say that again. I've seen matches won and lost simply because one superstar was at, oh my, someone's getting a taste of their own finishing move. I certainly don't envy the referee in this match. No kidding, no matter what call you make, you're gonna get on the bad side of at least one superstar. And that's about the last place you wanna be if you're not a superstar yourself. Trust me, I know. This is stupid. Why is he risking everything by going up there? Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle, an injured superstar is like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, you've got to be able to hide it from your opponent. That's absolutely right. This business is as psychological as it is physical. You can't let your opponents think you're easy pickings. Well, I wouldn't consider any of these superstars to be easy pickings no matter how beaten up they get. You feel like a jerk when someone counters you like that. I don't think anyone in this match has even considered that they might not walk out the winner. Rope break. Of course not. That's the kind of attitude that gets you beat quicker than anything. And there's the pin. One, two. Talk about superstars who don't have an ounce of quit between them. You're looking at them right here. And that's a potentially dangerous mindset to be in. If you're too proud to realize that you're in trouble, you might wind up risking your career for a single match. Hey, you gotta be in there every single match and be willing to do whatever. Oh man, whether you like this superstar or not, you gotta have a little sympathy right now. I have to agree with you, partner. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. He's using that ring rope in ways that it was never intended to be used. There's no such thing. Smart superstars know that the ring can be their best. He could pin his opponent right here. I don't 
think there's a superstar in the history of WWE who's gone from rookie oh. to WWE champion oh. as quickly oh. as John Cena has. Yeah, Cena shot up real quick, but he hasn't picked up the experience that a lot of other superstars have. Well, from where I sit, I haven't seen a lot of superstars give Cena much of a problem. He's held his own against some of the most talented veterans on the roster. I assume you're talking about me, right? Well, let me tell you something. When John Cena beat me for the WWE Championship, that was a fluke. If that's the case, then he's had a lot of fluke victories since then. I don't think anyone gets as far as Cena has on luck alone. Here are your winners, The Ninja, The Ghost, and The Brawler.